Happy December, everyone! This is our December edition of the monthly newsletter. Mm -hmm. And first off, I'd like to wish you Happy New Year's because Ooh. I think this is Friday, and so tomorrow is New Year's Eve. So Sunday is the first day of 2017. Ah. So exciting. Um, we hope you had an awesome month. My month was filled with studying. I've been preparing for an exam that's going to be happening in January. And so that has been quite time consuming. And oh yeah, we finished the MAT specialist program. Mm -hmm. So our round of students that have been with us since April learning um, how to be an MAT specialist finished up their course this earlier this month mm -hmm. and that was great to see we had an awesome graduation farewell dinner and it was a lot of fun yeah yeah December was filled with MAT it started off with uh, finishing of the jumpstart courses as uh, teaching downtown and then the following weekend like Julie said we had the specialist program graduation weekend mm -hmm. um, and that's gonna lead us right into our next round of specialist program courses that will be starting this April so if you know anybody who's interested in uh, joining us for the specialist program starting in April of 2017 um, definitely have them register because we'd love to have them here and uh, we're excited to get another group of students going um, my month was again teaching and helping Ju Julie prepare for her uh, her mastery exam that she'll be taking at the beginning of January. So we're really excited about that. And then pressure just uh, right now. no you pressure. Told, you told everyone. No pressure. Okay. And then just uh, spending some time at home relaxing with uh, with my family up in Wisconsin over over Christmas. So mm -hmm. that was that was a good month because it was rejuvenating. It was productive in the beginning, and we are ready to get uh, get things going for 2017. Mm-hmm. But I believe now it's time for our monthly Would You Rather. Yep. Yep? Okay. Who's asking who? I'm asking you this month. I feel like you ask me every month. Okay. Well, I'm going to ask you again this month. All right. Again this month. Got again it. Again this month. Okay. Okay. So, would you rather... Yeah. All right. Have it be Christmas once a month... Okay. ...all year round. So, every every month... There's a Christmas to get ready for. Okay. Okay. There's also a Christmas to celebrate. Uh-huh. Every month. Okay. Or would you rather have it be Christmas once a year, but every other year? So would you rather have mm. Christmas way more frequently? I see. Almost to the point where maybe it's not as special, but it's also a holiday season all year round? Or do you think the holiday season is special because it's just that time of year and so yeah. spacing it out further okay i would say that i would do every other year for mm -hmm. a couple reasons okay Number one i like that it's infrequent enough that it's really special mm -hmm. um number two it's really hard to convince clients to come in on mm -hmm. christmas that's true or christmas eve that's true so um um, it definitely is a change to the business flow. Yeah, absolutely. And number three, um, I find that a lot of uh, my clients struggle to feel really fulfilled with their goals mm. around Christmas time, mm. and so I would hate to see them have to, you know, deal with that every month. Although it's, you know, it's a blessing to be able to do Christmas sure. once a year, mm -hmm. but I always know, like the week before, two weeks before, mm. and a week after, and yeah. definitely the day of. Um, uh, my clients are definitely not focused on themselves, mm -hmm, and a lot mm -hmm. of times they're focused on others, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. But uh, I do like to see my clients feel successful, and that you yeah. know, they're they're working on themselves as a being. So, no. um, uh, although it's a great, I would say for in terms of my my business and my perspective, I like I like the infrequency of it. Yeah, no, I think that's a that's a great perspective. I would be interested to see if it was once a month, if people would be like, ah, we're skipping Christmas this month. Oh, yeah. We're not doing it. <laughs> Skipping the parties, foregoing the gifts, and uh, sure. just postponing till next month. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, we hope you had a great holiday season. We hope you have a wonderful New Year's and are ready for an awesome 2017. And we'll see you at the end of January. See, see ya. ya.